it's really, 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 really hard to work from home. Don't believe the hype that is like easy. Not everybody has a spare room. Not everybody has the willpower to get their asses sitting there and do the work without nobody telling them what to do. Not everybody has that willpower. It's really, really hard, but it's totally possible. There are plenty of videos out there on how to work from home and how you can be productive while this is all happening uh, with the whole quarantine and uh, stay at home and working from home because of the coronavirus. Now, all of these videos that are out there, they have a point and I completely agree with many of those uh, people who have been working from home and they're entrepreneurs and they all tell you that you need to create a routine, don't work on your pajamas, make sure that you have a space where you can actually work. While all of these things are true, the reality is that not everybody uh, has a spare room to work from home. Nobody's talking about working in the corner of a living room or inside your living room. And yes, this is my space for me to work. Nobody's talking about having kids around and actually working with kids uh, watching cartoons in the background, which is, this is all real life. So this video is gonna be all about working from home and, and a little bit more raw and the reality of it and how I do it and how I accomplish what I need to accomplish. So I have mentioned before that you should only have between two and three activities or between two and three uh, goals that you want to accomplish on any particular day, no more than that. Okay, so for example, today is Friday. For me, I have just uploaded my podcast. Yes, the podcast has been done in advance, so I just needed to upload it and that's that. But I'll give you another example. The other day, I just uh, built my new studio and I wanted to uh, experiment with a new uh, setup when it comes down to the layout of the gear on how it's being uh, put in the actual rack. So what I did is that I started uh, testing some, uh, how can I have more access to, to the base equipment because I've been struggling with that in terms of like, uh, how can I reach the actual base preamp? How can I do that? So that was the only task that I wanted to accomplish uh, two nights ago. This was in the middle of the night, just like it is now. I got my youngest daughter watching TV, watching cartoons in the background, very noisy. My wife is in the kitchen. My other uh, eldest daughter is in the room uh, doing some homework, I hope. Um, and, and I'm here. It's in, it's a morning. It's really it's raining outside. I can't really do much. We can't go out even if we wanted to. So what I did that night is that I actually really uh, not only set up the actual base rig as I wanted it to and actually did program some new uh, base presets, if you will. And, and I actually compose something on the go as I'm testing this while the family is here hanging out. Another thing to consider, and I'm gonna play you this uh, quick track as well that I did while I was setting up all my bass rig. Another thing that uh, to consider as well is that studies have shown that actually you are more productive, uh, not working eight hours a day, but actually only to between three and four hours of solid work. So even if you have a day job or you work in an office or you're part of a corporate America or whatever, you're only really productive uh, four hours. And that could be, uh, or obviously it could be early in the morning, those first four hours of work, of solid work, of solid concentration and actually accomplishing something. You know, so really don't beat yourself up that you need to be by your desk uh, while working at home. I don't need to be here eight hours. Even though I love to work and I wanna be here eight hours, I know that it's not about the amount of hours that I need to be sitting here that is gonna show uh, if I'm working from home or not, it's about the results. So the results is what's gonna speak for itself. So if I can accomplish my goals or my task in two or three hours or less, that's all that matters, okay? I don't need to be here for eight hours, even though I will, because it's what I love to do. So even if I accomplish my task, three to four tasks, uh, in that particular day, within those two, three to four hours, the rest is just extra. And really, I'm not killing myself, I'm not beating myself up. I got the kids working around, uh, walking around. Uh, it's really hard, okay? So the, the thing to consider here is that it's really, 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 really hard to work from home. Don't believe the hype that is like easy. Not everybody has a spare room. Not everybody has the willpower to get their asses sitting there and do the work without nobody telling them what to do. Not everybody has that willpower. It's really, really hard, but it's total, totally possible. Uh, this is my desk, I work here. My wife now is working from here as well. 
As for that, she's working full uh, from home. I want to play you very quickly the track that I did the other day so you can see what you can accomplish even when you think that you don't have the time, even when you think that it's really, really hard, even with having kids around, watching TV, cartoons. This is what I recorded the other day and I want to really show it to you. Uh, very spontaneous. Remember, when I was doing this, I was just setting up my bass rig. So I have the sound sound over here, okay? So the bass will go like this. It will go in here into the actual uh, tuner. And then from here, it will go to, to the bass pot actually, which I have here. From the bass pot, will go to, to the sound sound. And then from the sound sound, we're going to the compressor, the very last one. So I'm still experimenting with this uh, chain, but I wanted to really experiment with the actual uh, bass sounds. And what a, be best, what a better way to, to test this sound that actually records something, a riff, an idea, or something, anything. It doesn't really matter what it is. So what I did is that I have this uh, bass line. So that bass line, that bass sound is just pretty much a preset that I saved here on the line six. Here on the sound sample, I'm just really running the bass through it, nothing special. And it's, here it's only compressing just a little bit of a 2 to 4 dB of gain reduction. Uh, I put a drummer as well, so I can actually uh, get some vibes going on. I want a little bit of a rocky vibe. So that's it, I pretty much just EQ a little bit the bass and compress it, nothing major. And what I did obviously I got carried away and recorded some guitars and I came up with this uh, tune to work on now and develop. You don't like it, sorry, I'm gonna finish now, okay? So that's my point. My point is that it can be done. Uh, the, the, the task that night was just to set up the bass and the rig and have a nice setup and say, how can I work with this better? How can I be more efficient? It's about being efficient and accomplishing something. Results is what matters. It's not about the amount of hours that you're gonna be sitting down there. It's about the results. So anyways, I'm gonna be doing more videos about how to work from home, how I work from home, having two kids in the middle of the living room, no spare room, on my pajamas, this is my pajamas actually, haven't changed or anything. But in the reality of it, okay, because not everybody has a spare room, not everybody has the willpower to do it, not everybody, and maybe if you don't have kids, you still have to struggle with yourself, with your mind, with the ability to make yourself sit down and accomplish something, do something that matters, something that is important, it could be anything. But you need, the result is what's going to speak for itself. So anyways, I hope this video finds you well. Thanks a lot for the love and support. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, rock and roll. And here's to your success.